and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I'll be making this center stepper easel card and I'll be combining that with some digis from polka doodles. I'll leave links to everything that I use in the description box below in case you want to check anything out for yourself but I have to admit that I'm not 100% certain if I am assembling this uh, center <laughs> stepper easel card as designed but the great thing about these sets is that you can really just kind of play around see what works for you and um and I thought that this this looked nice, so I'm going with it. The die set has one die that will cut out the card base. That's what is on um, the left here. And then there's a separate die that will cut out this, um, what I'm using as the easel stand. There are two scored lines on that piece. One looks like a uh, glue tab because it has those mitered uh, edges or corners to it. And then on this side of uh, or this edge of that die cut there's a more finished rounded edge lip and so I take that to be that should be visible and I took the exact same die and I die cut it out of solid uh, color cardstock and that's sort of going to be my um, stopper for the easel so that when you prop this up right um, the card doesn't continue to want to kind of expand and um, collapse down flat, but rather that easel stopper will keep it um, upright as a tent fold. So I took, uh, again, the same die that cuts out the um, card base and, you know, it scores all of the lines and everything as well. And I um, use that to actually die cut this matte layer um, because I wanted to cover that front panel almost entirely with this gorgeous um, digi paper from Polka Doodles. I love, I love the pattern and I love the soft colors and so you've probably seen that in other projects I've used this um, before and I just print it at home on my color uh, inkjet printer, but I do find that I get better results when I print on uh, photo paper. So, and I'm using, I'm not sure if it makes a difference, but I, I am using a, um, I think it's a glossy paper. So I don't know if um, you get better results using a matte paper, but I just happen to have this photo paper that I don't ever used to print photos, but I've found that I get really, really good um, results when I print out my um, digi papers or pre-colored images um, print beautifully on this paper as well. So I don't know what it is about the paper or maybe the settings that the uh, computer automatically chooses because when I go to print, I do change the type of printer or the type of paper that I'm printing on. And I think that is important because there are different settings that your computer will um, will choose depending on the type of paper that you are printing on. So I always recommend whatever, um, whatever paper you use, try to see if your printer has a way of selecting that type of paper so that you can uh, be certain that it chooses all the right settings to handle that. I've got also this smile die cut that I just think is really perfect to, uh, to match with this digi um, of Winnie. I've already colored her in because I didn't want the video to be super, super long, but uh, I just think it's really cute how she's kind of pointing to her own smile and I thought this would make for a good card to send to somebody who maybe just needs uh, a little bit of uplifting and, um, you know, want somebody who maybe you want to put a smile on their face. <laughs> and so I just think this is a super cute um, digi image. And she's super fun to color too. I, I love... Um, I love the Winnie digis because they have so much hair. <laughs> and so I like getting uh, all that practice coloring in hair. Um, but this uh, smile die cut, it does come with 
two different uh, dyes, and it might be a little bit hard to see, but the the die cut that is in the darker color that I've sort of added as a shadow layer, it does have some deboss detail of some uh, diagonal lines through it. So when you look at this card up front, the diagonal lines, the lines of the pattern paper, I think all kind of um, tie in. And so that's why I chose this uh, particular die cut. And I just think it, it matches the, the image of Winnie so well too. And I tried my best to find alcohol markers um, in my set of Ohuhus to sort of coordinate with the papers that I was using as well. So um, so that she also feels like she's coordinated with the various papers that I'm using. And I initially thought that I would center her on this easel card to really kind of make her the star of this card. But... When I tried to do that, I couldn't find a good place for the smile sentiment, and at least it just wasn't obvious to me where where to put it given given the scale of um, the die cut word. So I decided instead that I'll actually just go ahead and um, put her off to the side here, and I thought about possibly um, mounting her with some foam just so that she stands um, up and away from the card base a little bit. and um, But I feel like because it's an easel card and it's already sort of propped up, that I don't really need that extra dimension that foam would give. So I'm actually just going to adhere her flat to the easel card. So when this folds down, everything's going to be super flat and it'll be a very easy... Um, mailer. And I, um, since I did print this on um, slightly heavier cardstock, I think it was 80 pound cardstock, um, and I tried to use the Hammer Mill Super Smooth Ultra White uh, digital premium color copy paper when I know that I'll be using alcohol markers to do my coloring. I find I get really good um, blending using that paper. And in the digi, there's also some images of these cute little butterflies. So I just sort of fussy cut that out separately. And one thing is, I wish I had actually previewed this card um, at the angle that you would normally be seeing it at, because I feel like that first butterfly I just put down is actually a little bit too low, because when you have the card open and propped up, you can really barely see it um, if you're viewing it at sort of a a normal viewing angle from the front. So that would be my biggest tip is, you know, just preview things at the angle that you think it's going to be seen at um, most of the time. But there you can see it folds down nice and flat. And then when you open it up, you... Um, can prop this up as sort of a tent fold and you'll be able to see those um, those additional butterflies. And just to give the butterflies a little bit of extra sparkle, I'm using my, my homemade sort of sparkle pen. It, this is just a solution of iridescent medium. I think I... Um, I think it's a one-to-one -one ratio of the iridescent medium plus uh, distilled water. So I'll just brush that on. If you have something like uh, Wink of Stella or I think Spectrum Noir has a glitter, clear glitter. I think Nuvo probably has one too. So lots of different brands out there, but it's pretty easy to mix your own as well. And I think the results are pretty comparable. So there is my finished card. And again, had I to do it over again, I would probably put that one butterfly just a smidge higher, but otherwise I'm really happy with how this card turned out. And if you like it too, please consider liking, commenting, and sharing. And if you'd like to catch new videos as I post them, uh, please do subscribe and uh, ring the notification bell. Thanks so much and until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye!